These are marine grade stainless steel. Oops. Never going to rust. Very, very simple, very simple process of putting them on. These will go on your fender bolts. Now you will need fender bolts 30 mil longer than the existing fender bolts to make uh, to allow for the docking post distance it has to cover. But once these are on your bike, these are adjusted, universal, and can adjust in and out to suit. Now, say for example, the only tough one I've come across is a Triumph, because the Triumph, the fender bolts are very close together. I had to cut off, I cut off about an inch and a half of each of each one of these pieces to allow it to go closer, because when sliding it in, it hits the, uh, the locking mechanism. That's what you do if the fender bolts are closer. This will fit most, as is, as is. But if you have to go wider and you run out of space, that's where this comes in. This is an extension plate that will allow you to go as wide as you need to go. Now all the bolts come with this. All the bolts come by for mounting and everything. Like I say, the only thing, the only bolt you're going to need is 30 mil longer to allow to allow for the uh, docking post. These will last you forever. They're very good and I've had mine on my bike for nearly uh, a year and a half now and no no signs of wear or nothing. They're fantastic. I will show you uh, how easy they are to put on and take off very shortly. This is my bike and I just decided to go white. I call it my rolling refrigerator. But to show you the bags, same bags, same bags as I just as I showed you in the black. This is locked on. It can't go anywhere, okay? Pull the lock off. There you go. And that's what the bag, what it looks like on the bag. This is what's left on your bike. For this. Neon. Block. That's it.